before we start this interview, on behalf of me, 806 Taz, and our family, we would like to apologize to every party involved. In no way am I here to justify or condone any of the events of the night of the August 9th or even discuss the situation. We are fully aware of the circumstances and allegations and will in no way condemn or disrespect anyone associated with said allegations. What I am here for is to support my brother 806 Taz and in here as well as here to reach out to his numerous supporters. How are you, my guy? Man, I've been better, man, but shit, I had to just keep my head up, bro. Yeah, just keep it up, man. It's been, a, it's been a heavy week, long week for us all, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you coming down to sit down with us and um, even just, just, even just honoring me, fielding the question, you know what I'm saying, on some nah, real I'll shit. You, bro. So, like, um, for people that don't know, who are you? My name's uh, Jeremy. I'm uh, 806's Taz's big brother, his oldest brother, well, one of his oldest brothers. And, um, yeah, man, pretty much Taz has been under our wing, oh, man. So you like his brother, brother? Brother, brother, yeah. Mom, yeah. dad? Yeah, we got the same mom with different daddies. Oh, yeah. So, um, you had shown me video of the night. Like, so we're not going to speak about anything that kind of went out. But, like, what was it like being in that that environment where there's a tank in front of your house? Man. The, the whole street's blocked off, you know what okay. I'm saying? So I just went and got Taz from work and shit. And we went to my cousin's house, and we're just chilling. And less than, like, ten minutes later, man, we're just sitting in the living room. We're all just doing what we do. The whole house is lit up, man, and you just see shadows everywhere. And we thought it was an ambulance outside, you know, because we ain't never been part of no shit like this. And what transpired next, it's like they're, they start shouting commands, and so we all go outside, and I look up. There's a spotlight on us. There's a police copper. They have the whole street lit up. Like It's like the 4th of fucking July in that bitch. Uh, they make us turn around, march back to them. They put me and my cousin in zip ties. But then whenever they asked my brother Taz what his name was and shit, they put him in handcuffs. And you could hear all the metal. And they had like five officers that scored them. I'm over there asking them if I could talk to them and shit before they take them off to ask like what's going on and shit. And they fucking, they just told my nigga off, bro. And uh, like I said, after they let us out, I took a brief video of like all these, like the whole street, the street looked fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna like, go ahead and put that up. It, yeah. looked, it looked wild. So did they like follow y'all or did, like? No, nah, I don't know, bro. I was on point the whole fucking way. Because for the amount of cars that I seen, yeah. were y'all not aware? Bro, like, I swear, I picked this nigga up from work, and everything was Gucci. Like, man, I drove all the way to the E and shit. And then fucking, we were sitting, I'm saying, I, we were sitting there for less than, like, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I wish, actually, I think I do, uh, I think I have the warrant with me, because they gave it to us afterwards. It's called a... Uh, they did what's known as a, I think, an evacuation warrant because of Texas just passed this bullshit about the open carry. Yeah. So instead of going in, they make you all, all the adults and shit come out. And so uh, whenever they served it to us, uh, it said that it was served at 10.53 p.m. So I think they got the warrant <coughs> on the way to wherever the fuck we were at. I don't fucking know. I'm not a police nigga. So you're going to have to confirm with one of them. Yeah. Sad though, man. So how's your um how's your mom doing? How's your family doing? Your brothers? Man, my my other brothers and sisters is all going through it because Tasman, he's like our baby brother, you know, like he's one of my mama's favorite kids type shit. Like he all of our favorites. So my how mama many, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I'm the oldest of nine kids, bro. And Tasman, he's an integral part of our family. Like he's uh one he's the like how do I put this? He makes people smile. He's like a brighter spirit in yeah. our family type shit. Uh, my mom, like, my mom, that was my mom's last son. And then, like, the way that we all, like, we kind of coddled Taz, man. We kind of, like, we didn't let him get into shit when he was growing up. And then, like, Taz just grew into this real nigga. Like, came, like, eighth grade. Shit's crazy, but... My mama, she's she's real hurt right now, man. Like, my mama, she's been crying, not going to work. My nana, she's retired, but she's been in bed crying. She calls me to check up on me, make sure I'm straight, and then we start crying together. Like, 
my fan it's not easy especially on his other brothers and sisters because we got there, it's just a lot of shit going on right now like my nigga was like 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 i said he texted me at fucking 803 or some shit uh the night that he got arrested to come get him from work and then fucking we was together and now like it feels like i'm never gonna see my brother again type shit should be hard bro i, I can hear it in your voice you know what yeah. i'm saying um we all giving you strength how, how did it feel to kind of see the love or even just the re response when you when you seen the coverage I know even Man, the covers kind of yeah, really talk I ain't going I ain't going to lie. I just got out of Facebook jail cuz I've been going off in these news articles cuz people talking about they hope my brother get the death penalty and all this shit without knowing the situation, without knowing my brother, without any of this shit and it hurts my heart and even on Instagram people would fly comments but there's been an outpouring of support from Tasman supporters as well of his uh, as well as his local rap peers like uh, shout out to Big Country Ted shout out to uh, everybody else that's been hitting me up in my uh, DMs I really don't know remember all y'all's names right now but y'all know who y'all are and uh, as well as all the people who have supported my mom's uh, GoFundMe and her um, damn what's that shit called Cash App. Uh, right now, uh, we, we're at a 25K goal that we need to reach. And right now, my mama just sent me the text message. Give me one second. She just sent me the text. Uh, update, I have 33.72 in hand after all the uh, donations that we've already received, as well as what we've personally put in. And then uh, we only need to get to 8,500, I'm sorry, 8,500 by the end of this week so we can uh, pay half of his lawyer and then we can pay the other half of the 25K after uh, next week. But next Friday will be his first court appearance and uh, we're trying to get this lawyer retained for shit show. You know why maybe like they're kind of moving so fast because COVID and all that going on and you know what I'm saying? I have no idea, brother. Yeah, I, I don't know the judicial system. I just be in that motherfucker. You know why? Maybe like they're kind of moving so fast because COVID and all that going on. And you know what I'm saying? I have no idea, brother. Yeah, I, I don't know the judicial system. I just be in that motherfucker. So what's kind of like the feeling right now? You know what I'm saying? Um, Shit, the feeling right now is that you got to watch who you be around and you, you need to watch your friends and watch who you're doing stuff with. Like, you got to watch the people that you keep around you and you need to make better decisions. It's not, and this isn't for Taz, this is for everybody. Like, the feeling is, this woke me up because it could be your best friends, it could be your home. It, Then it's also taking effect in September um, that you mentioned that you guys might have even also been um, already affected by is the open carry. Yes. Starting September, everybody can get a gun pretty easily. You know what I'm saying? From 18 and up, you just need to assume that a person has a gun. Your license. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you don't even need a license. You know what I'm no, saying? No, like your ID. You can go yeah, yeah. with your ID. Your ID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, your, your driver's license, you can go up there, but you don't, exactly. need, a, yeah. you don't need a firearm license and no more gun license. Um, so what's your observation on that? Y'all niggas better go take advantage of this shit and get strapped up because niggas is not playing fair out here. 
and like y'all just protect yourselves, protect your families and take full advantage of the law. Like if they're going to let you open carry and go get provisions, go get that shit. But do not be out here reckless with that shit. Practice firearm safety at all times.